holidays and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. If you're returning, thanks for your support and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, this is the last video for 2018 and I just want to say to all my subscribers, I thank you for all your support and I thank you for riding with me throughout 2018. I appreciate you and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedules to take a look at the content that I create. So thank you. Thank you. 2018 has been filled with ups and downs, highs and lows, blessings and lessons learned. And at the end of every year is when I redo my vision board. I don't share that because it's very private to me, but I do ask myself three important questions every year. And one of them, the first one is, what did I create or experience this year that I'm really proud of? My second question I ask myself is, what mistakes did I make that taught me something? And then my, my third question is, what am I willing to let go of? Um, anything that make me feel guilty, anything that make me angry, anything that hurt me, um, disempowering thoughts. What is it that I'm willing to let go of? So I thought that I would ask myself these questions, answer these questions as I rewind the year 2018. From going to the theater to see The Lion King, to the premiere of Black Panther, to my anniversary at the Four Seasons, to the summer vacation of a lifetime, to London, Paris, and Italy, and everything in between. 2018 has been a truly blessed year. I thank the Most High, and I look forward to 2019. There's been a lot of growth. I feel I like, like I've grown a lot this year, in a lot of ways. <laughs> One of the ways in which I felt I've grown is I felt that I have honed my skills on my YouTube channel in the content that I provide, in my editing skills, in the things that I post. I'm not saying that every video that I post is a hit, but I am proud of the effort and the work and the growth and the research that I have put into it. Same with my real estate business. It's been a challenging year. The country as a whole is experiencing some um, financial challenges. And when the country is facing financial challenges, that affects my real estate business. Uh, but through, despite those, those, despite those issues, I think that I've been able to hone my skills as a realtor to keep my business going in the direction that I wanted it to go. Um, so I'm proud. I'm proud of that as well. Now you guys seem to enjoy this video quite a bit. And I'll be honest, I did too. I liked it a lot. Um, I'm proud of, as a mom, how I have grown and changed as my children have grown and changed. They are now young adults, so our parenting now is more as a coach, as a counselor, as um, an advisor. Say, so I'm proud of how I have grown as a parent. So yeah, that, that's number one of the That video was lots of fun. With that being said, number two, what mistakes did I make that taught me something? Um, but I think making the mistakes is what it takes to grow. So I can say this year I've grown a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I have been blessed far beyond anything I could have ever imagined. 
In January, I had no clue that this year would have brought to me the things that it has. So I'm looking forward to 2019. I was really proud of that video. And then my third question was, what am I willing, what am I willing to let go of? Oh, geez. <laughs> what am I willing to let go of? I am willing to let go, as I had said earlier, disempowering thoughts. Sometimes when a deal doesn't go through as a realtor, when you get all the way almost to the end and the deal falls apart, or when you lose a client for whatever the reason, I have to let that go. I have to, I run it through my head and try and figure out what I could have done differently because that's a part of learning. Um, if I made a mistake in a situation, it's all a part of learning. I have to learn from it and let it go. Same thing as a parent. Most of the disempowering thoughts that I feel I need to let go of are not listening to my intuition. My intuition told me to do something. I didn't listen to it. Therefore, I made a mistake. Those are the ones that get me the most. Thoughts begin to buffer and take over where I'm just cycling and cycling and cycling over the same thoughts, over the same issue, over the same problem. In essence, worrying. I have learned to let those kind of things go. So it's not just an annual letting go of disempowering thoughts. I find that I have to do it all year long. But it helps to keep me sane. Writing things down in my planner and listening to my intuition and taking life inventories throughout the year, letting go of disempowering thoughts, I think works for me quite well. That was one of my favorite things. Again, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your viewership. And thank you for riding with me throughout 2018. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice, so you'll be notified when I upload new videos, and I upload new videos multiple times a week. And with that being said, 
Have a blessed day. And I'll see you next year. Right here on Creative Glam. Bye!